People have been asking about it. People are wanting to hear this next step. Walk around the house right now, doing a little child care while the wife's out pounding out some amazing marketing emails. But everybody's wanting to hear the fourth year in business. So without any further ado, let's rock and roll. Hey guys, I'm gonna jump in here quick. I wanna say, if you haven't already, subscribe to the channel. I want to continue bringing people in, getting their ideas and their information so we've got more ideas for videos, uh, more issues that we can help uh, make videos about to help people. Also, jump on the new Facebook page, subscribe to that. There'll be a lot of updates, a lot of kind of different information on there. And then as well as you can get on jacobgodar.com pre-register you're going to get a free excel sheet with that that's going to that's going to automatically email out um, go on there and do that that's going to go live in january all right let's get into the video see what you guys think so the fourth year in business we really really hit it hard um, it was a great year it was challenging just like every year is each year as you progress you learn a little bit more about what all you're gonna run into, the issues you're gonna run into. Um, it was a year of knowing, it, one of the biggest things, it was a learning year of hiring. Um, we did a lot of hiring. We learned a lot about needing to be better at letting people go when they're not gonna work out. And uh, that's something we deem that we were gonna be better at for this year from what we've learned. Let me, move, let me work on this background a little bit here. So with, that being said, it was a fantastic year that we had. We did so much. We realized one big problem. We kind of lost how busy we were right around August and July time. Um, so that was something we knew we needed to correct on the ongoing seasons. But when we started the year, we set our goal to go from what was around, I believe, 250 the year before to a half million in sales. So we made the plan, we kind of set it in stone, and we got the ball rolling on what it was gonna take to do this. And as we started going through the year, I started realizing, man, this is, this is coming along. The, we're hitting some of these goals, we're paying out these monthly bonuses, things are going smooth. Um, our biggest downfall was that time where it slowed down a little bit. We lost a lot of revenue, we lost a lot of time, we had kind of a, a drought situation as well. And with all that combined, we finished the year at 445,000. So it was a great jump. It wasn't what we wanted, but it was still good. Um, still a super huge accomplishment and we were so, so proud of what we've done so far. But, so we've made that jump. Other things that we'd learned in this section of business, just how, how much money you're using to keep things rolling, how important job costing is, Job costing is huge. You start trying to do a million things and you need to know on the individual pieces if you're profitable or not. Because if you're not profitable on those individual pieces and you start really upping the volume of things you're doing, it's just gonna compound the issue. If you're losing a little bit of money on every job and you start doing four or five jobs at one time, then you're losing a lot of money because all those little bits added up to a lot. So. It really emphasized how much job costing we were, but the, how much job costing was important. But I would say the things that we really started to implement to make us better was spending more money than ever in marketing. I believe we spent around 20,000 in marketing last year. That number is gonna be insane this year. We are just, we just push and push and push on marketing. Um, I'm trying to I'm trying to really divulge and dive down into this and remember all the little things, but tons of marketing, tons of learning how to handle field staff and, and get good people and and let go of the bad people if they're not going to work out. The second thing that was huge, guys, this is huge, and I can't believe people don't do it as soon as they should. We hired our very first person in the office. That really should be the first thing because we'd had plans to make it full time. We'd already had someone in the office, Zoe. If you follow Facebook, you've seen her, but we made her full time. And the amount she helped sell and the amount of new business we closed because of that was so drastic. It was incredible. It was the best decision we've ever made. It was one of the most stressful decisions. It was another one of those decisions that along the way has taught me, you're going to have to do things that you don't think are going to work, that you're not comfortable with, that you don't think you can afford 
because that's what's going to get you. That's what's going to get you there. You're not going to get there to whatever there is to you by continuing to just do the exact same thing you've always done. So second huge thing was full-time office person to help sell work, to help follow up on work, to help customer service. Um, really a huge game changer for us. Some of the other things that were monumental. We actually, last year we, we started a second business as well. We also started an operation in Florida. And anyone that's followed along thus far knows that that did not pan out. Um, we really got let down by the management we had back home. It was already a tight operation to make it happen. And with uh, some falling through of some of our people that we're going to manage here in Springfield in spring, we had to we had to come back and save the business that we've always been doing. It was fantastic. It blew up. There was as much revenue early this spring in 18 in March as there was in Illinois last March. So it was growing extremely fast, but unfortunately we had some management that just didn't quite come through and we were not able to keep it open because our Illinois branch, I'm not going to just let that go because we have so many people we care about, customers we care about, um, employees we care about, and, and that's why we made the decision we've got to come back. Florida's still really small. Um, we can always do it again. We know we can make it work. So we started a second location. We learned a ton from it because of the things that you just can't learn from not doing it. So it was a blessing and a curse all at the same time. All right, so the fourth thing we learned is all around hiring. Um, you know, as the business grows, we are not professionals by any means, but we learned that, you know, we weren't getting enough people in the door and we weren't letting the people go that need to be let go quickly and efficiently enough. This is a large point. I know it's something everybody has problems with in business and it's something that we keep trying to make better all the time. We've changed that a lot with doing uh, group interviews where we interview a, a large amount of people to see multiple faces to really try to hone it in on who is actually gonna be a good fit at our business. Fifth thing is we added a new truck. Awesome, first time ever bought a brand new truck for the business. Um, if you've ever watched any of my videos, I have a heavy mechanical background which led me to repairing everything that was broke all the time and it just gets to the point where you can't do that. There isn't enough time in a day to fix all the stuff you need to fix and then do all of your other responsibilities. So that was a huge win. Um, it started changing business for us. It started seeing that we can get things like this and it's not going to kill us or end us. So it was, a, it was a really good learning point. But all in all, the fourth season was crazy. We did really well, even though our goal was 500,000, we ended at 445,000. This was still a really big jump for us. Um, learned a lot about business, learned a lot about when our slow times are, why we need to be marketing heavier into those so we can slam through those and not even slow down. And the business just had evolved so much and um, grown so much. And we had also learned how beneficial it was to add that um, to add that office person that I spoke about earlier and all of these things combined you know this year I had a little bit of a plan but it started showing me how much planning was important that's why going into 2018 I had a I had a PowerPoint presentation of this is what I want to do and planning is just so huge it's what makes you get where you want to go and I don't know if you're anything like me, but I was, a, I was a motorcycle racer before this, and I'm extremely competitive. And winning and progressing is what makes me feel good. It's what excites me. So I'm always pushing to do those things. And in business, that does take a lot of planning. Just like in sports, it takes a lot of preparation, planning, um, a lot of upfront time put in so you can do well later on. Guys, I hope this video has been awesome for you. I hope I've hit on some of the cool points of our fourth season, what we did, how we did it, and uh, some of the things we changed, some of the things we learned, some of the things that didn't work out so well. You learn by failing, guys. You're gonna fail a million times to win 100. And when you finally get somewhere where someone looks at you and is like, wow, you are, you're just doing a ton, and they'll think it just happened to you. They won't see all those failures, but you get to live that, and that's what makes you, and that's what 
Um, that's what builds you inside and makes you a stronger person and makes you more resilient, makes you, makes you durable and be able to weather problems because this game is a game of problems. You're solving your customers' problems, you're muddling your way through figuring out your own, and you're building a business. All right, guys, I'll talk to you soon. Like and subscribe down below.